I would like to those people answer me that every time there is something wrong in Cuba or someone is killed or someone is starved to death, immediately they try to blame the United States and the American people. <coughs> the most generous people on the face of the earth. I came to this country when I was 18 years old. I have absolutely nothing. I came from a poor or low middle class in Cuba. I was in a stevedore. I was a milkman. I, I, I washed a lot of dishes in, at the hotels in Miami Beach. And just this last week, I own a public company in the United States. And you know how you call that, Mr. Chairman? Not only hard work, it is not the merit of the Cuban-American community. It is a tribute to this country, a great tribute to this country. The most generous people in the earth, in the face of the earth, and the best system that ever mankind has conceived. And I have heard testimony here saying that we Cuban-Americans are guilty for the killing and the starving in Cuba. Let me assure everyone in this room, and to you, Mr. Chairman, that Castro has been the largest recipient, the recipient of the largest assistance ever received by any nation or by any government. In the last, during the last 30 years, Castro received more help than all the nations of Western Europe and Japan after Second World War under the Marshall Plan. And if anyone put that in doubt, there is the, the money, the words, the agreements of the Soviet Union who provided Cuba for six, seven, and eight billion dollars a year for 30 years. And now we must ask, what has happened to that tremendous amount of money? Even bigger than the Marshall Plan. Where is the money? Where is the infrastructure? Where are the factories in Cuba? Where are the gold reserves? What has happened to that assistance? I have the answer. The answer was given to me by the head of the KGV a year and a half ago in Moscow. He looked at my eyes and he said, the worst repressive system that ever human kind has ever known is in Cuba. And that general told me that he helped to organize and to establish that repressive system in Cuba. And he, he said, it's the best organized, the best financed, and most resources of the Cuban government goes into that repressive system. I know where that money is that came from the Soviet Union. It's in Angola, where 10,000 Cubans lost their lives there, where Cuba didn't have any vital interest to defend. It's all over Latin America. It was in Central America. And here we're talking about providing Castro with more resources. The Cuban people has been under a Russian book for the last 33 or 34 years. While Castro was the largest or the recipient of the largest assistance ever in the history of mankind, or between the history of two nations, the Cuban people was under a Russian book. And the execution wall was working. And over a million Cubans went through jails in Cuba. Mr. We Mark, support the embargo. Mr. Moss, I'm sorry. The, uh, there, we've got about three and a half minutes to make a vote. Uh, I hope, Mr. Chairman, I would suggest that we might want to break here for about five or ten minutes and come right back and let the witness reluctant. continue. I was very reluctant to, to do this so that my absence would not be misinterpreted as a lack of respect uh, for the remarks that you're making, but... Uh, I understand, Mr. Chairman, uh, would suspend. the exercise of democracy is very important. Go and vote. We will go vote and we'll return. Thank you. Thank you very much.